Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome to another JV's 12 in the Morning Rants. I am of course JV, your host of Notoriously, of MCJ Notorious Talk fame. I'm also on um, um, Matthew's um, Notoriously Educated podcast, which if you haven't heard either, um, I'm sorry that you're wasting your life away not listening to it. But um, give give those a listen. They're definitely they're definitely fun to listen to. In my opinion, I like to go back to them and listen to. Not that I don't like to it. Not that I want to listen to my own show, but it's like eh, it's kind of hard to. It's kind of like just trying to hear yourself talk is weird. It's just a weird thing to sit back and. Be objective about listening to yourself talk. It's, it's like I don't like it. Either way, I don't like it. Anyways, good evening, morning, or afternoon, whenever you decide to give me a listen. Either way, I am internally grateful. And me and a venomized um, thing, the thing I should say, which I got from my boy. Well, which reminds me. Um, if my microphone was a little bit loud on the last one, I'm sorry. For some reason, I was deaf that one, so if the audio was a little too much for you on my half, bye bye, Ed. I'll definitely just try to get, I'll try to make sure that doesn't happen again. That was, because I listened to it, I'm like, oh my god, I'm going deaf. I'm an old boy, I'm going deaf. Um, unrelated, uh, a couple things I wanted to get to, not super important, but since, you know, I am kind of going on a superhero music again, as you all may be able to see, um, I just, I figured I'd let you in on a few things going on in the life, specifically about Batman, because life is Batman right now, and it it doesn't look like that's going to change anytime soon, so I'm just going to fucking deal with it. Um, first things first, I just got done with the Arkham Knight again in, um, New Game Plus, which I didn't think I was going to do in New Game Plus, but there is one suit, which is just the Arkham Knight suit that you, that you already have, but the difference between this one and the New Game Plus one, or the one that you earn from New Game Plus... Is that the Bat- Batman emblem on your chest is gold, and that's that's it. That's re- that's all that's different. And if it wasn't for the fact that the Riddler trophies that you collected from your first playthrough didn't roll over into your new game plus. This never would have happened. Because the regular trophies weren't a huge pain in the ass. In fact, none of them are super trivial. I mean, they were... They were trivial... Trivial enough. With the exception of, like... One or two... Riddler's... uh, Riddler ones that involved the Batmobile. Yeah, none of them are, like grab this grab my hair and just try to tear it out like frustrating not like some of the tank battles and all those militia fights that you have to go through and then you get a mix of like all those different types I got stuck on I got stuck on a couple 
of these earlier, and then I almost didn't go through with it. I almost didn't go through with it. I'm like, it's not fucking worth it. But then, I'm like, whatever. I can do this. And then I did it, and I'm happy. Not only am I happy that I've done it, it's something I never thought I'd be... Well, obviously, I... Capability is not as much of a question. It's just like patience. Like, I actually had the patience to do it. Not just one playthrough, but two playthroughs. And in the second playthrough, obviously, in New Game Plus, it usually amps up the difficulty by one. And one of the things that makes the game more difficult is that the little counter, you know kind of spidey sense looking thing over enemies heads doesn't appear there anymore so you kind of have to just learn to use your eyes and you know see when people are swinging at you to know when to counter so that took time to adjust to but you know once you do adjust to it it's not that bad okay in fact I kind of enjoyed it and um Yeah, other than that, um, I really, I really enjoyed playing the Arkham Knight this time. And I think another reason I like that I've finally done this is that now I can say, okay, I've done it. Now I don't need to do this ever again. I never, like, in my mind, I'm satisfied Knowing that I at least got the trophies once. At the very least once. Very much like Arkham City. But from what... But I think it's like double the amount in Arkham City. So when I'm like, oh, if I can get all the ones in Arkham City, then obviously the ones in Arkham Knight shouldn't be too... Too trivial and hard to do. And it wasn't. I'm glad I did it. And I earned all the, I earned all like, all the things. The only thing I didn't re- <clears throat> really earn was the trophies on like the PlayStation, which it's not a big deal to me. I don't care if I could get all those or not. I can live because all those are like fight challenges and shit like that, and. I don't know, as many malicious fights as I've been through, it's like, um, no thanks. I'm good. I don't need to do that. I think, I think I got my fix. Um, another thing. So, I was going to review Batman Bad Blood, but when I went to screen it this morning, I was apparently a lot more tired than I thought, and I passed out, like, right after the intro when I woke up for the climax for the film, so, yeah, needless to say, I need to watch that again. From what I've seen, it's pretty, it's pretty cool, even though I was a little confused about what was going on at the end, but, you know, I will watch it again. So, that is coming, just, you know... I tried watching it once, and I passed the fuck out. But it's coming. Maybe tomorrow? Maybe Friday. But we'll see. And then, um, one last thing to bring up. And I just figured, oh, why the hell not? If I'm gonna open up with a couple Batman things, I might as well throw one more Batman thing in there. Um, I got a figurine of a Batman... Um, this specific Batman is the Batman model from Batman the White Knight, or Batman White Knight, not the White Knight, just White Knight. I like to add the in there, I don't know, just a force, force of habit at this point. But yeah, I really like that comic book. It's a comic book I don't hear about a whole lot, which is kind of nice, because, you know, so many of, like... There's so many Batman comics that everyone knows and they read. It's like, 
oh, um, so did you like Batman White Knight? He's like, I don't think I've read it. I'm like, you should. You'll like it. And then this Batman's got like weird kind of like boots that look like leggings. I don't know. But I like this Batman. He's got the little like, he's got like a little collar. Kind of like Batman Gotham by Gaslight. Batman. But no, I like this design of the bat. He's cool. And one of these one of these days I'm going to do like a top five like Batman designs from the comics and then maybe like a top five Batman um co- costumes in live action which and then maybe do like a top 10 like of suits overall I don't know it's an idea but it's one that keeps brewing on in my head but I don't know if I'm gonna go like from the comics or like animation Because I'll kind of throw those in there, too, with them. I would wonder... Hmm. Sorry, I'm thinking. You know, I could think about this off... Offline. But I was just thinking. I can, like, really stretch it. I can do my favorite, like, Batman designs from the comics. And do one for the movies. And then maybe even do one for, like, the animated movies as well. Because technically they're their own thing. So. Hmm. Hmm. I'll think about that. It's a lot to think about. But one thing at a time. But before we get those top fives even thought about. Let's get this top five done and over with. And that is this week on Music Wednesday, the top five superhero themes or scores, whichever one you like to say. Some of them are scores, you know, some of them are from movies or themes because some of these are TV series. Now, some of these you're going to hear from my previous list last week, which was my top five favorite Batman themes, which... Shit, the amount. I think the amount that I mentioned, I almost could have made a top 10. But, I don't know, I, I, ex- I didn't expect to have as many... I didn't expect to have as many honorable mentions. But if I'd known I was going to have that many, I would have been like, uh, might as well just make it a top 10 in this case. But, sticking to f- top 5s. And that being said, <coughs> I got a few... Honorable mentions. Um, for one, um, as much as I love this theme, um, I can only choose one Batman theme. And if you know, if you saw my last list last week, then you know that Batman Begins, or yeah, Batman Beyond's theme is. Not going to be on this list because it got beat out by one. And I'm trying to do this whole, like, you know, one theme. Like, what is a definitive theme for this particular hero? And if you if you saw my list last week, then you're already going to know which theme that is. But do you know where that's going to land on this list? Probably. But... We'll wait and see. So, Batman Begins, or Batman Beyond, is an honorable mention. And I guess I will throw in um, the animated series, too. Because, you know, I know that's very nostalgic for a lot of people. And me, too. But, you know, like I said, there's just one theme. Literally just one theme that's keeping these two from being higher. <clears throat> Unless the new... Batman theme that's coming for the, you know, Robert Pattinson Batman. 
is like wicked, which I hope it is. I hope it's fucking wicked as hell. Ugh. I guess something. I got some things to think about with this list now that I look at it. So. One. Oh, another honorable mention is going to be Wonder Woman's theme done. From the Zack Snyder films and um, the Patty Jenkins movies. Which is a really good theme. I really enjoy her theme. And speaking of themes from the Justice League, um, Flash's theme from Justice League, Zack Snyder Cut. That's a really cool theme. I really enjoy that theme too. So I'll give it an honorable mention as well. Good themes, just, you know, not my favorite. And these... These next couple are going to be really hard to say sorry, not sorry, but you don't make the list. One is the Avengers. The Avengers theme from obviously the MCU. Um, This theme is brilliantly done by Alan Silvestri. And he does a lot of the themes in the cinematic universe. This is by far... uh, I don't want to say it's my favorite theme that he does. Because he does... He does some great music in the movies. I know the Marvel Universe isn't particularly known for their great scores and things like that, but I'll tell you, when they're fucking good, they're fucking good. And Alan is usually the dude that's behind him, so gotta throw respect on his name. But that being said, just doesn't quite make it for me, because these five that I have on here, you know, for my own reasons, just push it out. That being said, it's like, well... Maybe it's a nostalgic thing, because, you know, because, you know, nostalgia always plays a part in it, and I, this one just missed the top five. I mean, this one just missed the top five, and it ended up getting pushed out by a semi last minute um I want to say last minute but I'm glad I did my top 5 Batman themes last week cuz this one the theme that I remembered would have totally missed out and I would have felt like shit for it cuz it's a great theme but as fortunate as that was unfortunately the theme that got to get that got pushed out, and if you want to talk about nostalgic, um, nostalgic themes, you can't talk about more of a nostalgic superhero theme than John Williams Superman score. This was not easy, but if I look inside myself, I just have more favorite themes. But, and this was already hard, like, I already had to choose between this theme and, um, Hans Zimmer's, um, Man of Steel theme, and that one's really good. Like, I was having troubles with, I was having troubles! I was having trouble with those two themes being like, Oh, that Man of Steel theme is such a banger. And I've seen that live performance of that theme done by Hans Zimmer. And it's... Ooh. Every goosebump on your body. Or on my body. Just... But... It is so impossible not to think about Superman and... 
this song not coming to mind. It's just that iconic, that almost I I can I can say almost legendary at this point. It's just that it's just so hard to think of a different theme other than this song for Superman. I mean, for people in like Generation Z are probably going to think of Man of Steel's, which I'm. Not, the wall would be like, oh yeah, this was definitely a lot more of adrenaline pumping than the other one. But I don't know. Maybe it's because I grew up with it, but this was the this is the Superman theme. This is the Superman theme. Sorry, not sorry. But the sorry, not sorry, sorry has to also go with this theme, unfortunately, just missing the top five. And no, it's not missing the top five because of my actual number five on this list. Nope, the theme that I remember actually got pushed up to four. But before we talk about what it is, we got to go to number five. And number five is a little theme song from a little group you may have heard of called the X-Men. Now, the X-Men theme for the 90s show... Oh man, I love this theme. I love this theme so much. There's this one YouTuber who does this, like, he'll do, he does a metalized version of this song, and it just, ooh, it gets you fucking jacked. I don't know how in all the, maybe since Marvel's got the rights to the, what, do they have the rights to the X-Men? I, I feel like they do, but I think since they have the rights to the X-Men now, Maybe if they make their own X-Men movie, I would love to see them somehow get like an updated version of this animated intros theme into one of their movies. Maybe towards the end of the movie, you know, at final, the climax of the movie when, you know, shit's starting to get heated. Throwing a da 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 Oh man. By the way, if you haven't heard any of these songs on my list, then um, go out of your way and listen to them. They are good. If you like your music. What the hell is this? What are you? It's paper. I'm going to put you there. No, not there, you son of a bitch. It's gone forever. <sighs> Luckily, I wasn't emo- emotionally attached to it. Anyways. But yeah, this is just a killer theme. And and to be honest, I wasn't the hugest fan of the X-Men series. I mean, there are some really good episodes, but some of them... A lot more than I remember. I just wasn't super interested in. But I did like the theme very much. And it always got me excited to it. It kind of reminded me a lot of like. Something about that time just had great freaking themes. Like this theme. You also had fucking Batman the Animated Series. You also had Gargoyles. Oh my god. Gargoyles was such a fucking killer. There's just so many iconic themes at that time. But anyways, X-Men from the animated series, number five on the list. Now, the theme, this next theme, which is another animated theme, and this is the one that I remember that got Superman kicked off, but... I have to go. I have to go with the Justice League's theme from the animated series. Not Justice League Unlimited. While I do like that one, it is really good. I just don't think you can beat the original Justice League theme from that TV series. It's got such a great build. First of all, the the intro. Um, the intro's animation that goes with this too complements it very well because as the theme's like beginning and it's like slowly but surely building up, 
you just see a black screen, and then just as the sun rises, you see just the black silhouettes of all of our heroes just, like, walking united as a team, and it's just like... And then when it's, it, then it kicks up a little bit more, and then it just kind of shows, like, a little silhouettes of, like, all of our heroes doing something... Until it just keeps building and building and building. And then it's like... When I was marathoning this show not too long ago... I was thinking... I remember thinking to myself... I wonder how long it's I can hear this thing before I get tired of it. And I never got tired of it. In fact, I think... It, I think it's like... I think I look forward to it more... Than when I first started watching the show... It's like, dude, I just can't believe how fucking great of a fucking theme this is. It is so cool. The best part is, well, and you can, you know the best part it is when, I think it's the part where, like, Batman throws his batarang in the scene. And then, he's like, da 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 and then the scene shows Green Lantern, you know, with his ring glowing, and you just see his face in a green silhouette. And in the background, you just da na na da 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 da, and that's when your boy Soups comes in and breaks a wall. That's the part where I'm usually like, "Yep, yep, this song, it's fucking killer, and it it will never change. The song just kicks ass. What can I say?" So yeah, sorry Superman, you couldn't make it, but you got you had to get kicked out by this one, and I can't face it. This theme still fucking rocks my boat. Take that however you may please. But yes, number four is Justice League's animated series. Alright. Now... This next one isn't just one of my favorite, this is not just like one of my favorite themes, but it is one of, it's one of my favorite themes from, I don't believe this is hyperbole, but my favorite superhero show to date. Now, maybe I'll run across another show. Maybe I'll run across another show and it's like, okay, man, that one's probably better. But if this is not one of the be- if this isn't like the best superhero show, it's definitely in the discussion. It needs to be in the discussion. That being Daredevil. The first season, um, people see as perfect. The second season this got really strong, and even at its weak points, which I don't think are really that weak, but I understand why some people don't like the second season as much, and mostly to do with a certain somebody getting introduced, but I won't say what or who, because um, long story short, you should just watch the series. It's really fucking good, because... Then season number three kicks in, and then people are like, I still think the first season's better, but I don't know. I can see this probably being my favorite, too, because, oh yeah, season three is a really good one, too. I haven't watched it on a repeat, so maybe it doesn't have as much replay value, but I'll have to try to watch it again and see how I feel. Because, yeah, I've seen the... I've seen the first and second season and at least two, three times after the first time. And I'm still yet to watch the third season again. Mostly because it's a little hard to go back and watch them ever since they canceled the show. That one still stings. Especially after that finale and just thinking like, oh my god, I can't wait for this show to keep fucking going. (sighs) <sighs> that just devastates me. But the theme... Oh, the theme... 
It just... I'm not sure if a lot of people will do this, but sometimes with certain themes... I'll say this for like a... I'll say for like a Game of Thrones that sometimes you'll skip the theme just so... Actually, I don't know. That's not true. Maybe I'll say The Walking Dead. Because I don't know. If you skip the theme for Game of Thrones, it almost feels like you're missing a part of the story. But it's like skipping the the intro for The Walking Dead. It's like... You don't want to get tired of it for hearing it too much. So you'll skip it. But you still love it. I think my favorite thing about this... My favorite thing about this particular theme is like I love the sound of like almost I want to say overwhelming but like overseeing dread with the whole and then you just like and then you hear the strings in the back, and I almost kind of see that as, like, Daredevil as, like, you know, the one that's, you know, that's trying to fight through it, and, you know, the little glimmer of hope, should I say. I don't know, maybe I'm just looking way into it, maybe they just wanted to make it. But yeah, I like how... I don't know, I just like how... I just like the theme. Like, sometimes I can articulate why I like it. Some days it's like I just hear it in my head and it's just like, I don't know what to say. I just really like it. But like I said, I like the over... I just like the sound of dread into it. And then when the strings come in, it's almost like the little glimmer of hope that maybe there is a chance that, you know, we can get through this. Despite how gloomy everything looks. I don't know. When I was growing up, I always looked at... I always looked at Daredevil as, like, Marvel's attempt and not as successful um, Batman. But after this... After a look at a couple comics and then this series came out... I mean, obviously... Obviously, Daredevil's not as good as Batman. It's not a fair comparison because... You know, Batman has been around longer, so he's obviously got a lot more lore to him. But, Batman doesn't have a TV show this good. People are probably going to be like, you gotta watch Gotham, then you'll see. Um, I'll see. I definitely plan on watching Gotham because I hear that it... I've tried to watch that show a few times and it's hard for me to get past the first few episodes. Honestly, it's just like... I don't know. It just doesn't pull me in. But I'll keep trying. I'll definitely keep trying. I just know that um, Commissioner Gordon, that show, actually voice acts Batman in one of the movies. I think it's Batman Year One. If I'm not mistaken. And. Yeah. That's. That's a, that's what I remember. But. I don't. As much as I hear people like Gotham. I don't think I've heard people being like. Well. It's, it's, it's better than Daredevil. I don't think I've ever. Like I said, this is probably the best superhero show out there. And if there is better, if there is a better superhero show or shows, there's not many. Mostly because I hate to say it, a lot of superhero shows suck. I mean, people are probably be like, "What about Arrow? Arrow's good." It's like, I like the first season. Kind of like with, um, I like the first few seasons or whatever. I just remember there's a point where a certain character gets introduced and then I'm like, okay. And then like the first season of Flash is good. 
But then the Flash became, you know, like, I'm the fastest man alive until he meets another speedster that's just as fast as, that's faster than him. Then he meets another one that's faster than him. Then he meets another, it's like, (sighs) the theme means nothing now. (laughs) It means nothing. Everyone's faster than the Flash. The Flash is slow as shit. He's the Ronda Rousey of speedsters. He was the fastest man alive before the actual competition was here. (laughs) I don't mean to... I don't want to talk shit about Ronda. Except, I kind of do. But I don't. But I do. Those... That was just a playful jab. That's it. But I do hear she was... Her and her husband are expecting, so... Congrats. I'm happy for them. Because I know she wanted to be a mother, so... So... I'm just keep it at that. How the fuck did I get here? How the fuck did I go from Daredevil's theme to fucking Ronda Rousey being knocked up? I'm not talking about the domestic violent boyfriend she has. <laughs> Bitch. Anyways, let's move, let's fucking move on cuz I don't think I'm going to go any. All right. So, if you guys hear what my number 2 is going to be, then most of you guys are probably going to know what number 1 is, but that being said, the second theme My number two theme has to be, this was hard, it wasn't hard to pick, but first of all, it's a Spider-Man theme. This was hard, like some days I could see myself switching this with my number one, because I love this theme so much. And in my opinion, unlike my number one, which, in case you don't know, it's a Batman theme. Which, unlike Batman, where he's got like a ton and a ton and a ton of great themes. Um, even though I really, he's got some good TV series out there. You know. He's got that. Which is just kind of like a, you know, more techno s kind of version of the original Spider-Man. Spider Man does whatever a spider can. And I know I said this with like the Superman theme, where it's like, yeah, the Man of Steel one's more epic, but you know, it's just so hard to not think of Spider Man without this theme. Or Superman without that theme. This, this goes for the same with Spider Man. It's hard to think about Spider Man and not think of this theme. But that Danny Elfman score that he has for the Raimi movies. Um, sorry, Spider-Man, Spider-Man, eat your heart out. This, this is, in my opinion, the Spider-Man theme of all Spider-Man themes. Because, I think the only thing that makes it... Makes me not gravitate towards that other Spider-Man theme. Is that it's kind of tied to a series that I'm not the hugest fan of. I mean, I do find it entertaining, but just not in the ways that I need to... (laughs) That I would like to find it entertaining. But, still entertaining. But, it's just like, if I'm going to go watch something Spider-Man... This is the theme that I want to hear. This is the theme that... That, you know, I want to get... If I want to get pumped for Spidey, this is the one I listen to. Hands down, this is the only theme. And... The Andrew Garfield and um, Tom Holland Spider-Man... I couldn't even tell you what their themes sound like. I mean... As much as I love Tom Holland's Spider-Man and his Peter Parker, he's got a good blend of both. I just don't recognize... The theme song just doesn't imprint on me that much. Honestly. 
But this song, like I said, <clears throat> I almost considered it for number one. I almost did. But I had to do a little soul searching. I went for a walk. Killed a guy. And then I kept walking. And then I realized it wasn't a guy. It was a bird. Then I kept walking. And then I realized the bird wasn't dead. Then the bird just started following me everywhere. Spider-Man Danny Elfman score is my number two. Is my conclusion to that story. And speaking of Danny Elfman, he is also responsible for my number one. Which, hot damn, Danny Elfman, he's just, he's just back at it again with them good scores. But a mere 13 years before his Spider-Man score, he made, in my opinion, not just one of the best Batman, not just the definitive Batman theme, but my favorite superhero theme to this day, not much has changed since childhood, is the Batman 1989 theme from the ben, from the Tim Burton movies. Ugh. Oh boy, I love this thing. If you don't know why I love this thing, um, just go to my last, check out that list, and, you know, if there's another Batman theme that maybe you're more fond of than this one, then um, go to my previous week's um, Music Wednesday, where I do talk about my favorite Batman themes. It's a top five, but I mention... I think I said this earlier, I mentioned more. I think I almost could have had a top 10 favorite Batman themes, but I didn't honestly think I was going to mention that many Batman scores or themes. Music in general. But I really... I just can't... Batman, began, Batman Begins came close. But then... It also got kind of trumped out by the animated series. Because the reason I like the animated series as much as I do. Because it kind of feels like a... I don't want to say knocked off version. But like a, a version that came from this one's theme. And... Uh, what can I say? Um, if you need further details on why I love that theme. Like I said. Um, go to the previous week's list um you'll find out what i think about that batman theme and more batman themes like i said in case i didn't mention the one that you thought i was going to mention but anyways a quick recap my number five being x-men the animated series themes number two justice league animated series theme Number three, Daredevil series theme. Um, number two, Spider-Man theme from the Sam Raimi movies. And number one is, of course, Batman Tim Burton theme. I don't know if that's the official name for that particular theme, but I think I like ran across like five different other names for this. But... Regardless, um, those are my top five themes for superhero movies. And um, if you if you do not like my decisions, then y'all can choke on my strutal. <laughs> If you like this list, um, possibly give this, um, cause if you want to listen to these, um, I also got the, some of these, um, uploading on YouTube, um, I'll probably upload this one on YouTube as well, so if you're, 
if you hear me from there, give it a like. Um, tell me, did you like this list or what's your favorite? Maybe make your own little top five because I'm. I like to. Not only do I like to see other people's opinions, but sometimes when you know you hear someone else's opinion, they'll bring up a theme that you know you forgot about. It's like shit. I could have put that one on there, or maybe you could. Or the more fun alternative is you know you find out about a theme that you've never heard about. And then you get to listen to it. It's like, oh man, maybe one day it will be in my top five. But, you know, I just need time to discover it. Because it could be like the next Daredevil theme. Because Daredevil, even though it's a little bit old, Daredevil's not that old of a show. And yet, that theme somehow made it on this list, despite... The overwhelming, um, overwhelmingly stacked, um, nostalgic themes on there. It somehow snuck its way in there, so maybe there's a theme out there that could sneak its way in another time. Maybe. I don't know. Get off of me. But yes, if you like this, please like it. Please follow the show if you... Whichever one of these that you're listening on, which I'm on Spreaker, Apple Podcasts, Google, um, iHeartRadio, and of course, um, Spotify, and technically YouTube as well. But that all being said, um, I think that about does it for Music Wednesday, everybody. Thanks again for listening, and I'll see you all for the next next cast which I believe is going to be on Batman Bad Blood but until then y'all stay safe and most importantly join the rant bye such a bougie bitch